guys, so you will come back to James Bond Show Beer Reviews. Uh, tonight is actually Easter Eve, so tomorrow is Easter, it's Saturday. And uh, as you can see, I'm filming this at a different spot in my um, room. And uh, the beer for tonight, I guess, could explain this whole thing. Uh, this is the notoriously known, infamous Sam Adams Cherry Wheat, and it's uh, a 5.3% ABV. Uh, alcohol in the volume, um, fruit, wheat beer, I suppose. I've seen quite a few uh, reviews where people hated everything about this beer and called it cough syrup and just horrible, horrible beer. Um, some people don't mind it. Some people say it's good for, you know, girls and yuppies or something. But uh, we're going to see for ourselves. It says here, celebrating centuries-old American tradition of brewing the native ingredients, Samuel Adams cherry wheat combines Michigan cherries with a generous portion of wheat malt to produce a bright, lively ale with a crisp finish. Cheers, Jim Cook, uh, which is the brewmaster. So this is from the Boston Beer Company, which produces Samuel Adams beers. And believe it or not, this is only my second beer from them. Other than the traditional lager, I don't really get anything here. But this beer at uh, Westmere Beverage Centre, or the brew crew in Albany, thanks uh, to Chad showing me around. And uh, it was about two something for a single. Didn't want to get a six pack for sure. I'm going to crack it open right away. I'm going to use a generic American style point glass. Let's see what this is all about. I'm really. So it's going to be fun. Uh, Apparently this is brewed with natural cherries, but also natural flavors, so it's not entirely 100% you know, fruit. It looks more like a pilsner or a very pale lager, so a straw kind of yellow color, very very fizzy and bubbly. The head's all right, it's not that bad. Oh, now I can I can I can I can totally see why people reacted to the smell in that way. It does smell like. Um, not quite cough medicine, more like cough lozenges, you know, those cough drops, like holes, for example. Or even the more like advanced uh, cough, or no, like sore throat lozenges, like strepsils. So it does smell both artificial and natural at the same time. I don't know how that works, but it just does. So up front you get some nice fruitiness, but then it's, it's that kind of, I don't even know, like, fake caramel kind of sweetness you get. In terms of actual beer ingredients, maybe a touch of malts and uh, a bit of yeast, but not, not really uh, smelling much wheat here. I've had a cherry wheat at the local brew pub downtown Montreal, um, Brewtopia. That was quite good and it smelled more natural. It smelled like a wheat beer with cherries added. So I'll stop the rambling here. Um, cheers, let's taste it. Oh god, this is so strange. Chad told me I'd like this if I, if I like cherries in general. I love cherries, but this is strange. First things first, it's not sweet. At least not very sweet. At least not as sweet as I would expect it to be, anyway. It starts out with that kind of cough drop, cough lozenge kind of taste without the excessive sweetness. Uh, then you get a bit of a sour, dough kind of maltiness and at the back it tastes more like a beer it tastes more like a generic crappy lager yeah light to medium bodied very carbonated so now I'm getting a bit of a wheaty texture at the background but overall there are a few off flavors here and there that don't impress me much and don't make me a happy man tonight I'm gonna stop I guess for, for a few moments I'm not gonna take a long while I'll just take a picture of this lovely beer. Uh, so far it's not horrible. I wouldn't call it good. I wouldn't call it... It's just very strange and uh, kind of defeats the purpose of having fruit beer. Because I don't see how... Excuse me. I don't see how girls would love this. And apparently girls love it in the States. It's not that sweet. It's not that smooth. It's not that easy drinking for, in my opinion. So I'll be back. So overall I guess... It's been like 3-4 minutes since I stopped the video and came back. Um, it's not as bad, it actually gets a bit better. Originally I was going to give this like a 3 out of, out of 10. Uh, I wouldn't give it a 2 because it's not a horrible beer. It's just not very good. Uh, but I'm going to give this a 4 overall. I'm going to say it's way below average. But it's still not as bad as it seemed at first. 
Appearance. I'm going to go and break it down to categories quickly. Appearance is going to get um, like a 6. It's not that bad. It's just the colors. It looks like a pale lager. It doesn't look like a fruit beer, especially. Uh, you know, cherries are red, so you'd expect a bit more reddish kind of hue to it. Uh, but overall, nice head retention, everything, not that bad. The aroma, I'm gonna give this like a four. It's below average, it's a bit appalling, but it's not that bad overall. Um, then the taste, taking into consideration how it tasted at first and how it's tasting right now, I'm gonna, you know, balance it at a four because originally it was. Not good. Now I'm guessing more beer flavors, more wheat flavors. A bit more sweetness comes through, I suppose, and uh, kind of improves the overall drinkability as well. I'm guessing cherries, I'm guessing some caramel, I'm getting some grain and some sourness. But the aftertaste is kind of bad. Kind of, kind of what it does, it blends the worst aspects of both worlds, the fruit beers, you know, the bad qualities of a bad fruit beer with the qualities of a bad lager or a bad ale for that matter. Mouthfeel, mouthfeel is not that bad. I'm gonna give this like a six as well. And the drinkability is tough. It's not very easy to drink. I've had much, much better drinking um, fruit, wheat beer, so like a three. Overall, has it met my expectations? Um, I was expecting something even worse um, originally. Then Chad told me, you're gonna like this if you like cherries so that kind of I had higher hopes for it but now it's somewhere in between the two I suppose it's not as bad um, but I, I'm not liking this specifically I'm not liking this all, all that much gonna have the rest of it this is definitely not gonna be poured out into my drain which is something I never, I've never done in my life I guess maybe I'll have some beer one day that's gonna be so bad I'm gonna have to uh, get rid of it before drinking it. But yeah, 4 out of 10, happy Easter for those of you who are celebrating and uh, next time I'll be back with a more solid beer. Alright guys, cheers, see you next time, stick to your beer, love this.